Hi guys, welcome to Engineering. Today we're going to teach you about the tape measurement corrections. Alright, so the first thing is uh, 400 meter tape. If you are not given the standard temperature and tension, you should assume that it's 20 degrees Celsius and 70 uh, Newtons. So that's your standard temperature and standard Newtons for your tension. Alright, so the first correction we'll work through is the correction of temperature. So we have four variables in this. First will be our distance. So this is the distance you actually measured. Then we have the expansion of steel. We have our measured temperature and we have our standard temperature. This will be that standard 20 degrees Celsius I showed you. All right, so in your calculation, usually you would get this and this from site, while the other two will be given to you either through your standard uh, your description on your tape or um, otherwise stated. All right, for your slope, there's another correction we have. Uh, this is also just has two variables, AB, which is the length. That's the same as the distance in the previous calculation and your alpha, which is your angle, which is in degrees, minutes and seconds. Then you have your uh, correction for height above sea level. Uh, so this is basically to counter for the curvature of the Earth. So for those who believe in the flat Earth, we literally do calculations to determine the actual distance because the Earth is actually curved. Alright, so we've got our S, which is a horizontal distance, which is the same as AB and D from previous calculations. Then we have our average height above sea level for the area that you're measuring in, as well as the radius of the globe of Earth. Then we have our correction for sagging. All right, there's a bit more complicated calculation and it can be split up into sections, which I'll explain now now. But we have our length, which is cubed. That's the same as AB, as S, and as uh, D. So this is our length that we measured. Then we have our weight per unit length of tape. We have our alpha, and we have our tension. So this is the standard formula. Uh, I'll show you how to use it in the example I'm about to go through. Alright, so in this example, we have a distance is measured with a steel measuring tape with an expansion coefficient of 0, 0,000011 per degree Celsius. Alright, so that firstly is our C. That's the first value we write down. I'm going to show you how to put all these values down so you have them before we even start with our calculations. Alright and with a standard temperature of 19 degrees Celsius. So that is our TS, that is our standard temperature. Now the measurement is done at a height of 1,542 meters above sea level. That's our average height on the site. So we write that as our H value. Uh, then we have the radius of the Earth is 6,340 kilometers. Uh, we're going to change that to meters because the calculation requires it to be in meters. The distance is measured as 526.471 meters at 25 degrees Celsius at a slope of 2 degrees 35 minutes and 40 seconds. So once again our D which is our AB which is our S is our distance measured. We've got our alpha now from that degree, uh, the degrees minutes and seconds and then we also have our weight, which we got from this. The weight of the tape is 0 0.011 kilograms per meter, and the tension is standard. And as I said, that's 70 degrees, uh, 70 newton, my apologies, as uh, for the, our tension, because that's what we assume if it is standard. All right, so we're going to start with our temperature calculations. Uh, we simply put in our D, so our 526.471 times our 0, 0.000011 which is our C value and then times by the temperature measured which is 25 minus the, temperature, the standard temperature which is 19. Alright, then that's your answer in meters. We save that value either in the calculator or in the Excel sheet, whatever you were using. For our slope, we have AB which is again the same, that 526 and then 1 minus our degrees, minutes and seconds. 
you save that value into your calculator. Our standard uh, height above sea level, we're going to have our distance once again with our height above sea level, the h, divided by our radius of the earth which is converted into meters. All right, now for the SAG calculations, we have to make sure about two things. First of all, if we go back to the description of what happened on the survey, we need to see the 100 meter tape is, um, that's how long our tape is. So what that means is that this 526.471 meters could, had to be measured at a minimum of six times, meaning the first five times would be 100 meters each. So we'll have 100 meter sections as that's the longest measurement we can take per stretch. And then the, after those five times, we have measured 500 meters. Then the last section will be the 26.471. Now, the 100 meter sections will all have the same correction factor. But the 26 will have a different side correction factor. So um, also, one thing we have to notice is that the tape is supported by a person every 25 meters. So if we go back, you'll see first of all we're going to do a calculation for the 100 meters, then we're going to do a calculation for the 26.47 meters. And when it comes to our n value, what we have to do is we have to say this number of people, so in this case it's 100, and, oh, it's one person per 25 meters. So that means there's someone at 0, 25, 50, 75, and 100 meters. So that means there are 5 people. Minus 1 gives us 4. So those are the amount of bays, the amount of loops, or let me say curves, between each person. So in that case, when there are 5 people holding, there will be 4 bays. By the 26 meters, there will be someone by the 1 meter, the 25 meter, and then someone has to hold the last section of the 26 or the uh, 1.471 meters. So what we do with that section is you would actually have the people distributed evenly between that 26 meters. So it would be someone standing on the one side, in the middle, and on the other side, because you can't have two people handling a 25 meter section. All right. So for the first calculation, we'll have the 100 meters, the W which was given to us, the angle, which was given to us, or that we calculated at the slope on the site, and then we'll have our tension, which is 70 newtons divided by 9,81, to convert it to kilograms. The reason we do that is because our W is in kilograms, so the T and the W have to be in the same units. And then the N, as I explained, and we'll get the sag for one 100 meter section. We can times that by 5 because it will have the same sag um, for each section. So that means we can take the total amount of error and add them together. Then for the 26.471, it's the exact same, except that the distance is different and our n will be different because there are three people in that section. And for that, we'll also get this value. And then we add them together to get our total sag correction. In the end, we have to take our distance, which is the 526.471. We add our correction of temperature, minus the slope, minus the correction of height of sea level, and then also minus our sag. And we'll get a total corrected distance. And that is our answer rounded off to the third decimal. Thank you very much. I hope this video helped you quite a bit. See you in the next video.